Another night of chaos. Clashes Saturday night between protesters and federal officers nearly killed a man. We want to warn you, the video we're about to show you is graphic. This shows the aftermath when protesters carried away 26-year-old Donovan LaBella, as people on social media have identified him. Immediately after LaBella is hit, others surround him and move him back. You can see the head wound that's bleeding and more blood on the sidewalk where he dropped. Prior to being shot by a federal officer with an impact munition, LaBella had gently kicked a smoke canister that landed near him and had both hands up holding a loudspeaker. We asked for a response about what happened and have not heard back from the U.S. Department of Homeland Security. It is the agency in charge of federal officers that President Trump just praised for their policing of crowds in several cities, including Portland. City Commissioner Chloe Udaly told the Oregonian, quote, it's unfortunate that Trump cares more about protecting monuments and buildings than he does people's lives and constitutional rights. We didn't invite or ask for this overblown intervention by the federal government. Donovan LaBella was in critical condition on Sunday at Legacy Emanuel Medical Center. His mother telling OPB he has facial and skull fractures, but is responding to doctors. Both U.S. senators from Oregon are speaking out. Senior Senator Ron Wyden tweeting, quote, The consequences of Donald Trump unilaterally dispatching federal law enforcement into U.S. cities played out in Portland with a peaceful protester shot in the head. Trump and Homeland Security must now answer why federal officers are acting like an occupying army. And Governor Kate Brown wrote, in part, the events of last night at the federal courthouse were the tragic and avoidable result of President Donald Trump for weeks continuing to push for force and violence in response to protests. And from City Commissioner Joanne Hardesty, the last line of a long, strong statement she just put out, quote, we have had more than enough. The federal troops need to withdraw immediately. And after that, we have the hard task of picking up the pieces and responding to what the public and this movement asks of us. We reached out to the Portland Police Bureau and the mayor's office several times today, and so far, nothing. The mayor's office says they should have a statement ready sometime this evening. Tim Gordon, KGW News.